Calamari tube, see? This is kind of weird to do. <laughs> Isn't that kind of weird? To... Me and the squid have become friends now. Crispy fried calamari is my thing. This Mediterranean girl knows how to do calamari. So that's what we're gonna do today. Fried calamari is a thing that they serve all over the Mediterranean in small fish shops and taverns from Greece and Italy to even Port Said, Egypt where I grew up. And obviously crispy fried calamari is a thing here in the US too and it's easy to make right at home. I'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks. Calamari tubes are available in most grocery stores. You'll find them in the freezer section next to things like frozen shrimp and fish and that kind of thing. So they look like so, and we're gonna cut them up into rings. Three quarter inch or so is what I'm looking for here. So obviously these were frozen and to thaw them out, just leave them in the fridge. And you don't want to cut them any thinner than three quarter inch only because you want to have some meat on your calamari rings anyway, and you do want good enough size for crisping. And then there's another trick about how to make them extra crispy, but I'm not gonna tell you now, because I don't wanna spoil the fun. So my little one, Hannah, she's obsessed, obsessed with fried calamari. Like every time we go to a Greek restaurant or an Italian or any Mediterranean, she's like, do they have calamari? She loves it, so she'll be the taste tester today. And I think we're gonna call her up. You might want to get me washing my hands because people freak out when you don't wash your hands on camera. But they don't understand that we edit all this stuff out, you know? I'm washing my hands. <laughs> Ready for it? Here's the trick. Here's the trick that helps a lot, a lot, a lot with flavor, okay? Where's my measuring spoon? One teaspoon of kosher salt, stirred in about a half a cup of milk. I know, I know. Mind blown. Stir that up. Put our beautiful calamari rings in this mixture of milk and salt. This will help the flavor a ton. We're gonna stick this in the fridge for about a half hour. All right, here we are, ready for it? We're gonna make up a fun batter. And because we want our calamari to be crispy, I have a couple tips for you. First of all, we're gonna start with some flour, just all-purpose flour, whatever flour you like to use. We're gonna do some cornstarch for the crisp. A little bit of baking powder. So the cornstarch and baking powder action is going to be super helpful to this mixture to make my calamari rings super crispy. Now we're gonna season this, oregano, a dash of black pepper and a dash of cayenne if you don't mind a little tiny bit of heat. Mix this really well together. These are huge. You're gonna use a pair of tongs to shake the excess milk off like this. Yeah, I would not, I would not use this milk on your bowl of cereal. <laughs> or anything for that matter. This milk will be tossed. We're grabbing the calamari, shake it off, and dump it in here. It's very squiddy. Squidward would be proud. So you've got your colander situation here. Give it another shake so the excess flour you don't want is off. And that's about all you need to do to prepare this party for the fryer. Here's the trick, you guys. Most fried calamari recipes, if you're using the stove top, they will say use like a big pan or whatnot to fry your calamari. But my mama taught me this trick. If you use a smaller pot, you don't have to use so much oil because what you want is kind of like a deep fry situation. So you want the oil to rise, you know, kind of halfway through. So 
This is the kind of oil you'll use, like a grapeseed oil or a sunflower seed oil, not the expensive good stuff that we have. A good few inches up so that you have enough for the calamari to crisp up. While my oil is heating up and I want to get it nice and into a gentle bubble, like at 350, 355 degrees, grab yourself a tray like this, something oven safe. And I say oven because we want to keep whatever we fry in the oven so that it's nice and warm. Someone is going to ask me if they should do this in the air fryer and you absolutely should if you have one. I don't, I'm going to go the old fashioned way so that's why. Let's see you guys, moment of truth. Yes, 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 this is good. This is good, you want it to bubble immediately. It'll take about three minutes in this bubbling oil. So again, manage your heat. If you have to lower the heat at some point, you can. Just manage it so that it can maintains a nice, gentle bubble. Good things are happening. Okay, pull it up using a slotted spoon. Oh, good things. Okay, before we get to our next batch, we're gonna stick this in the warm oven. It's just on warm, guys, so no worries. Gently drop, there you go. That is the bubble you want. Crispy golden brown. I mean, it literally takes three minutes in here, so it's not a big deal. I know you're using more oil than you ever want to, so just forget about it. No big deal. <laughs> Drain all the oil. Right, I can't wait, so I'm gonna try one, crispy one. Oh ha! <laughs> but so good. Oh, 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 crispy fried calamari Susie style. <laughs> the Mediterranean dish style. Crispy fried calamari. Final finishing touches. They just go in here, nice, nice platter. Another dash of salt right away while they're nice and warm yet. And then a good splash of lemon juice, you guys. And then if you wanna serve this with a sauce of sorts, obviously marinara sauce would work. I like tzatziki sauce, so you might wanna check out that video. If you like spicy, you can do a dash more of this hot cayenne pepper. All right, Hannah, moment of truth. I yeah. wanna eat it so bad. All right, All right Hannah, re Sorry. take it down just a <laughs> notch. All right, let's see what you think. Ready? Yes? Did mama do it? Mama do it? Tavern style? Grab the recipe for crispy fried calamari over on the Mediterranean dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Mm-hmm. Chicken down. <laughs>